One of the places on our list while we were in Colorado Springs was Oscar Blues. We'd been there before. Their beers are always fantastic. So, you know, it's got to be one of the stops. But on our way there, what do we see? Bell Brothers Brewing right next to Oscar Blues. Who would do that? And then Andrea saw the ghost on the marquee, and that was it. That was a must investigate. We walked in, and it was very inviting. Hi, we're Heavy Metal Beer Club. And right now we are at... Bell Brothers Brewing in Colorado Springs. Downtown Colorado Springs. And of course the beers are fantastic here. We'll show you a list of uh, their cocktail beers, which is something extremely interesting. That's what I'm having right now. I'll have to look up and see. Uh, it is a Cinnamon Toast Crunch is what it's called. It's a dunkel and then with cinnamon bourbon in it. It's... Uh, stands out the flavors amazing yeah. and they rimmed it with cinnamon and shit and here we are bell brothers brewing drinking bow to the sensei it's a rice lager beer with cherry blossom and, and green, green tea. tea and it's a collaboration with peaks and pines another local brewery here in colorado springs but you can see the light color in there and uh, you look at it not thinking you're gonna get a whole lot of flavor but you'd be wrong to think that because it is full of flavor and uh the difference with the rice lager is it's brewed with rice and barley and the percentage he uses is a little higher on the rice so it's 40 percent rice to 60 percent barley usually it's 100 percent barley gives it the light color and that really delicate um, little bit sweet flavor not too sweet though it's just perfect as it's opened up i'm getting honey flavors out of it so you said, let's do the tasting meter on this. Okay, so let's do the tasting meter. Easy. Which is a one through five. It's five, five all day long. Yeah, and not often do we agree, but I say five on this as well. How bold is that? You open up a place right next door to Oscar Blues. That's on the other side there. So you better have good beer, and they do. This is totally um, craft. I mean, it's very special. Everything they make is so good. They even have one right now since this is the fall season and it's called Basic Witch and it's a pumpkin latte cream ale. It is so good. Oh, and did we mention also that everything is brewed in-house downstairs. You walk in and look around, oh, where are the tanks? Is there some big back room? No, it's downstairs. They have uh, where you, you can see where they cut in the floor, the wooden floor to put the tanks and all the equipment down there. So this is the real deal. This is Cody Bell, and he is the one of the two Bell brothers who does all the brewing. And the, he's the man that makes the magic happen with us. They, they really found the perfect location. This is amazing. So how long have you been brewing? Um, professionally, we're coming up on two years. Coming up on two years? I've been brewing since 2015. Okay. What got you interested in brewing? Uh, my brother. He, uh, he was really into craft beer, and he's like, hey, I took this whole group class, come down and come brew with me. And originally I was like, nah, I don't really want to. I'm busy with school. I'm a you know, competitive fighter. I don't really want to do that. Uh -huh. uh, once I graduated from school, he said, hey, you're done. You're not fighting anymore. Come brew with me. I'm like, all right, fine. And we just started doing it, found a passion for it. Uh, wow. Both engineers, so we applied some science. We were like, yeah, nice. So you get that first couple home brews, you're like, these are absolutely terrible. How do I fix this? <laughs> and that's funny. So he didn't continue brewing. He does the business stuff. Well, uh, once we got here, so we home brewed together all the way up until we opened. Okay. And then, yeah, he kind of, we kind of switched, but like, split it because there's so much to handle between the business and the brewing. Yeah. And we're like, you know, what makes no sense is for me to handle brewing, for him to handle business, and then we don't, like, Neither of us gets overloaded trying to Oh, yeah, that's good Good thinking. We wanted to make sure to thank Cody for his time. I just kept having a bad time with the camera. I don't know. I'll blame it on the beers. They were just really, really good. And thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy Metal, Metal Beer Club. Stay safe, drink responsibly. And stay, stay metal. metal. Bell Brothers Brewing.